everybody. Welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today we are actually going to fly around the budget basher, the, the five inch FPV quadcopter that we built. We had a whole series about building it. I had a great time. I hope you did. And now we're actually going to uh, take it out here and fly it. Today is uh, a little bit windy, but we're going to make the most of it. And specifically um, what I want to show you, it's not really going to be like a tutorial on uh, how to fly, but I, I do want to demonstrate the uh, the smart audio uh, as best I can, how to access that, and then also maybe we'll demonstrate uh, turtle mode, uh, just in case you have that set up, and just kind of fly it around. I'm not going to mount a GoPro on this one because I don't have a mount. It broke when I smashed into the roof. <laughs> actually the roof anyway and so uh, so right now what we're just gonna do is uh, get the uh, flight footage from the uh, from the can just straight from the camera from the DVR and that way I mean that's that's more like what you're actually gonna see uh, when you're flying anyway and that's a fact but first a word from our sponsor who provided me with this awesome custom hat oh hey everybody uh, I want to tell you about my custom wait no hey everybody my name is Adam Bo, but my friends call me Timmy Jim John for short. I want to tell you about my custom hat shop that I have, and you bring us any hat, and we will totally redo your hat. Look at this hat. This used to be a Cabela's hat, and it's not anymore, and it looks totally different. If you haven't checked out this channel, I'll see without. It's the coolest channel ever. You should go check it out. You bring us your hat, and we'll make it look totally different. You have a good... I'm gonna go snap. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna um, we're gonna get this baby going. We're gonna get we've got a battery strap on here. We're gonna be using I'm gonna be using four cell batteries. We've got a battery on our quadcopter here. I've got my radio. This is a Flysky FS i6X, and then I've got my goggles here. This is an Eashine goggles two. I don't really necessarily recommend these goggles because um, they're kind of old and then you probably get something better. But that's what I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my transmitter. Okay. And then, and I'm, so when I turn on the transmitter, it's going to ask me to put all the switches up, but I'm going to put them down because down is the off position how, how we've set this up in this build. Okay. And this is our arming switch right here. This is going to be our turtle mode switch, which we're just going to leave off. Um, and this is going to, this is our three position selector mode selector switch. So down is uh, auto level, middle is regular acro, and then up is air mode, which is kind of like a version of acro. And then uh, over here, this switch doesn't do anything. And then right here we have our uh, beeper switch or knob, but we don't really need to use that, but we can test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power on my goggles. Okay, goggles are powered on. I have the battery so that the lead comes out forward just but your battery might be different from mine and then it's going to kind of come through here and you know we've tested already to make sure that the motors are not just going to start up you know on their own um, but just in case something crazy happens I like to keep the propellers away from my face I don't really necessarily want to have my eyeball like right here as I'm plugging it in you know what I'm saying so now that we have everything else on I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in okay I'm going to set it down on the table it's gonna establish like you know its its level position and all that stuff. All the sensors can calibrate. So now we're gonna take the quad. We're gonna bring it way out here into the open. Take it, put it out on the grass, far away from people, and then we'll go back here and we'll do some um, some test flights because this is gonna be your first your first time actually turning anything on. So the first thing we want to do, we're gonna do a line of sight. Uh, well, actually, let's check. Let's see. So we do have we do have a good video feed. So we have our video feed and we have our OSD. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to do just a line of sight test. We want to check, um, we want to check our uh, auto level, make sure that it does what it's, what Tessa? <laughs> what? Yes, Tessa, Tessa has a question. What Tessa? <laughs> 
<laughs> did you want your face or do you want this <laughs> I will keep my face, thank you, but um, <laughs> why don't you just film my hands because they're cool. so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. You can and be a hand monitor, right? That's yeah. what you said. That's right. That that's is exactly what, that's that's what your exact, mom said, apparently. No, that's what you said. That's, that's what you not said. what I mm -hmm. said. No, you said I never that. said such a Tessa thing. Tessa thinks that my hands no, could be... His mom, you know, he said, as a, this is I his proud thing. He was like, oh, my mom thinks I could be Yeah, well, she does too, you know? I mean, you know? I mean that's that's, that's one thing I've always said about my mom. That that's before. one thing I've always said about my mom. She has great taste, great taste in hands, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and arm it. It's in auto level mode. We're gonna bring up the throttle just a little bit. Again, this is not really a tutor tutorial on how to fly, um, but so we're up, we're hovering. Uh, left goes left, right goes right, back goes back, forward goes forward, and we got some wind that we're dealing with. But basically everything is working good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it to acro mode. And it's we're getting acro mode. So I push the stick one way. And even when it goes back to center, the quadcopter holds that position. And air mode, same deal. Nothing really going on. Um, what I usually like to do, especially if I've just changed the rates or something, is just take it up and do a couple flips um, or do some rolls. Just kind of get a feel for the rates, get a feel for the throttle, maybe a couple kind of punch outs. Um, it's really sunny right now, so it's hard to see it. But And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll just go ahead and bring it back into auto level mode and bring it down and land it just like that. Okay, so now we can actually, uh, we're, we'll get in the goggles and then we'll fly it around, test it out. I'll show you uh, how to do the smart audio and then how to do turtle mode. Okay, here we go. We've got our DVR going, and let's just uh, also notice on the screen we have our 16.3 volts. In the middle, we have the RSSI. On the, uh, the right side, we have the uh, fly timer. So when I arm the quad, it, the timer will start, so that way we know how long it's been armed. And then when I disarm the quad, we have all this uh, information, which is kind of nice. Mostly, it's kind of interesting uh, to see what the battery voltage is. Okay. Anyway, so when we arm the quad, we've got budge, we've got the name on the bottom left, and we have the mode on the bottom right. And uh, now we can kind of see that everything's sort of kind of in the middle of the screen, so we can go back into beta flight and move that towards the outside if it's a little distracting. Also, on the we have our throttle position, and those numbers are actually pretty big. Um, you can see there it's up to 10 right there. And then we have um, the uh, the horizon the artificial horizon there which is wiggling around it's pretty cool okay enough jibber jabber so let's just uh, go ahead and take off i'm going to put it into air mode and we'll fly okay i'm feeling pretty good feeling pretty good remember when you first you know when you're first taking it up don't go far and again this is not like a tutorial on how to fly you, you will want to start out much slower than this but uh, we can fly this little baby around we got some good signal Good reception, really pretty darn good. I mean, I hope it looks this good on the on the DVR, but I mean, pretty dang good lighting and everything. I'm gonna do a flyby, kinda. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I'm not sure how, how good the signal's gonna last if I go out over here, kinda behind these trees, but there I go. So look at that. Nice. Nice. Where is it? <laughs> wow, that is faster than any drone I've seen. in these treetops a little bit. You can see the RSSI. See, I'm getting kind of low there, getting a little low. Well, down at like 50, which is not that low, but my transmitter is not really pointed toward my quad anymore, so it's down to 50, not super great. But look, I mean, so we're cruising at pretty much like eh, 40, 40% throttle-ish. Let's do like a little punch out. That was cool. I don't want to go, yeah, it sounds crazy. I don't want to go, um, actually, it kind of sounds horrible, but I don't want to go too high because we do have some planes in the area. But, yeah, this is awesome. This is, like, the coolest thing ever. Um, maybe we'll walk down here. Well, let's just see. Let's see if I can do a little 
closer in flying around these trees and stuff. These rates, they do feel a little squishy, um, but it's good for some smooth like flying, you know. But remember, just you know, get used to you know, play around with your rates. If they feel kind of weird at first, fly them a while, fly a few packs and see how they feel. But if they still feel weird, then uh, go ahead and change it. So, right now, our battery is getting down to about 14.8, which I think that's uh, that's good to bring it in. It's getting a little bit low, so we'll go ahead and bring it in. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch it out of air mode and to, to acro mode, and that way, if we do have a hard landing or something, it's not going to quad won't bounce around. The smart audio clip demonstration. All right. So what we're gonna do for the uh, to get into the smart audio, we're gonna put the we're gonna do throttle. So we're disarmed. We're gonna put throttle to the left and then pitch forward, and then we're gonna get into the the uh, the OSD. Um, the beta flight OSD menu daily thingy. Now what we want to do is we want to go into features and then we're going to go into VTX SA for smart audio and we're going to right, right stick right into that. And then what we have here is we can change the band and we can do this, go through all this stuff, boss cam B, boss cam A. And so you can use this to actually change um, all this different stuff. So if, like if I change the channel um, and you can change the power and all this stuff. So if I did this right, if I hit set, uh, it should uh, go to a blank screen. Yep, there we go. And so we lost it, or well, we mostly lost it because we're on the wrong channel. So now I'm gonna, um, sorry, on my uh, goggles here, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna scroll until we, oh, there we go. So we were just about on the, on the right channel. So we were on this channel and then we had to scroll to this channel. So that's how you can, that's how you can change your channel settings and your uh, output power and all that kind of stuff. Uh, through just stick commands and we'll just hit exit Ta -da! all right so I put the quadcopter upside down as though we were flying and then we kind of crashed and we fell upside down and so in the goggles here what I'm gonna do so say we're in like air mode I'm pretty sure this will work in air mode as well as at regular acro so and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on uh, the anti or the uh, crash flip recovery and then I'm gonna hit arms and you see it says crash flip and then I'm not sure which way I'd want to go but you can go pretty much anyway and it will basically just power up that motor and then you want to be sure to turn it off I think you have to disarm and then get back up and then here we are flying around like nothing ever happened now the thing about this is I don't really recommend using this like all the time um, because, you know, if you can't see your quad and check it out after a crash, you don't know what kind of state it's in. But if you get into a situation, maybe it's on a top of a building or someplace that you just can't get to, um, you may really need to use this. So that would be a, a good, a, a nice, nice thing to have, uh, but not super necessary. Also, check this out. We have our beeper. If we can hear it, can we hear it? Ah, can you hear the beeper? Probably not. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, uh, the beeper can't be used while it's flying. That's right, because it's the ESC beeper. So that's our beeper right there. And uh, that could be kind of useful. Now, when it's really windy and out in the open like this, you can't hear it super well, but if you're closer, it's much better than nothing. So there you go. Now uh, we tested out our brand new quadcopter and it seems to fly pretty darn well. Can't wait to put a GoPro back on this thing and get some awesome GoPro footage. And I showed you the smart audio and how to do the, uh, the turtle mode thing. So um, if you guys have that enabled, then uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.